Boris Johnson's Brexit trade deal with the EU is set to be backed by Parliament today in a historic resolution for Britain. The Prime Minister says the agreement will open a new chapter in our national story, when the UK leaves the European Union for good with the tolling bells of Big Ben at 11pm tomorrow night, December 31st. In what promises to be a truly momentous day in Westminster Mr Johnson will crash the EU future relationship bill through both the House of Commons and Lords in just one day. Tory Brexiteers have announced their support for the deal meaning it should sail through Parliament without any hiccups. It will then be given royal assent before being enshrined in law. The Prime Minister will also officially sign the official trade deal agreement in 10 Downing Street. In his opening statement to the House of Commons Mr Johnson will hail the deal, which he dramatically agreed with the EU on Christmas Eve, something which the British people always knew in their hearts could be done. This bill embodies our vision, shared with our European neighbours, of a new relationship between Britain and the EU as sovereign equals, joined by friendship, commerce, history, interests and values, while respecting one another's freedom of action and recognising that we have nothing to fear if we sometimes choose to do things differently and much to gain from the healthy stimulus of competition, he will say. This bill demonstrates how Britain can be at once European and sovereign. Mr Johnson will praise the astonishing speed in which the deal was struck in the teeth of a pandemic. And he will say that getting the deal done on time provides the best chance of beating COVID and bouncing back even more strongly next year. Mr Johnson will trumpet Britain's new standing as a global trading superpower with Britain having already secured £900 billion in trade agreements, including a colossal £660 billion deal with the EU, since Brexit Day on January 31st. We will now open a new chapter in our national story, striking free trade deals around the world, adding to the agreements with 63 countries we have already achieved, and reasserting global Britain as a liberal, outward-looking force for good, he will tell MPs. Those of us who campaigned for Britain to leave the EU never sought a rupture with our closest neighbours. We would never wish to rupture ourselves from fellow democracies beneath whose soil lie British war graves in tranquil cemeteries, often tended by local schoolchildren, testament to our shared struggle for freedom and everything we cherish in common.